Hey everybody, it's Molly with All Ears and this is a brand new video. This is the ultimate guide to snacking at Walt Disney World. It's in fact the A to Z guide to snacking at Walt Disney World because we have picked out 26 different snacks at 26 different locations, each one starting with a different letter of the alphabet. It's gonna be so much fun. Are you excited? I'm excited. Hope you're hungry. Let's get snacking. A is for apple, but we're at Disney, so it's not a normal apple. It's a candied apple, of course. They have all different kinds of candied apples all over Walt Disney World. I got this one at Big Top Treats in New Fantasyland. It's right near the Dumbo attraction, and it's an awesome place to come grab a sweet snack. They've got dessert cases filled of different candy apples. They've got customized crispy treats. They've got cookies, all kinds of goodies galore. Really fun place. And there's this cute little patio out here that nobody's sitting at right now. And I'm here on a Saturday in the summer. So this is a great little spot to come get a snack, have a sit and enjoy a sweet treat. You can also get candied apples at places like the Main Street Confectionery. You can get them in Epcot at different places. You can get them at Goofy's Candy Company, Disney Springs, candied apples are a really fun treat. So they have all different ones, but I selected the nuts and caramel candied apple because sappy growth story about me. My husband and I, one of our first dates was to Fantasmic, and he told me every time he sees Fantasmic, he gets this exact treat. And now every time we see Fantasmic, we split one of these. So I'm sentimental and gross, and that's why I like this one. Mm. So, so good. One of my favorite snacks because you get the tartness of the Granny Smith apple and that helps balance out the sweet caramel. And it's a lot less sugary than a lot of other snacks at Walt Disney World. It's not like sugar in your face, but it's still a sweet, fun treat. And I like the nuts on it because the peanuts help with that crunch, they balance out. It's a textured delight, so much fun. If you want a caramel or a candied apple at Walt Disney World, they can leave it whole for you or they will cut it up like this so it's easy to eat, easy to share. Great use of a snack credit because a lot of these candied apples are $6 and up and it's an easy, fun, shareable snack. For letter B, I had to make a special pit stop at one of my favorite resorts, Port Orleans French Quarter. French Quarter is themed all after Mardi Gras and has a special Cajun flair to it, which may give you a hint for what I'm eating for B beignets and of course they're shaped like mickey mickey beignets are a staple in disneyland because you can get them inside the park in new orleans square but here at walt disney world you can only get them here at sasagula floatworks at port orleans french quarter be forewarned you will get powdered sugar everywhere i haven't even eaten them yet and it's all over my hands the beignets are again mickey shaped and they come in packs of three for 4.49 or six for 6.99 the three pack can be a snack credit. And what a darn good use of a snack credit it would be. Look how cute it is. Hey, do you want to get outside? Huh? Want to get outside? Yeah. Mm. Not your choice. Not your choice. You're a nice outsider. Daddy didn't ask you. Yeah, but they have different things here. You're gonna hear me say that something's my favorite like 20 times in this video, but okay. that really is one. Wow, those are so good. So they come out piping hot. Well, not piping hot, but they come out nice and warm and they're so flaky on the outside, nice and doughy on the inside, if you can see that. As you can tell, there is a mountain of powdered sugar on this thing. So when you eat them outside like I'm doing, don't eat them in your room. But wow, these are delicious. If you've never had a beignet, what are you doing with your life? You need to stay here just to eat these beignets every single morning, noon and night. They're available all day long, not just at breakfast. The thing I like most about the Mickey beignet is that they're sweet, but they're not sickly sweet like a donut. And they are so doughy, but also flaky. They're just perfect. C is for cookie. And in this case, carrot cake cookie. Triple C coming at ya. This monstrosity can be found at the Trolley Car Cafe in Hollywood Studios, which is the Starbucks location. And it is a monster for $3.99. This is a big cookie for $4. And it's delicious. 
big nice carrot cake cookies, which are basically just like soft cakes, pieces, nice cream cheese icing. Oh yeah. This one's a winner. Also, just a little tidbit, if anytime you go into Starbucks, you can ask them for ice water. They got me a Trenta 30 ounce ice water for free dollars, AKA free, AKA zero dollars. Stay hydrated, it's hot here, and you don't have to pay for ice water. Any counter service location will give you free water. But Starbucks will give you the biggest one. D is for Dole Whip. I'm here at the Pineapple Lanai at Polynesian Village, which is one of my favorite places to get a Dole Whip. It's the outside Dole Whip window, and they've got lots of different flavors. Of course, they've got classic pineapple that you can swirl with vanilla, and then they rotate out the other flavors in the other machine. So sometimes they've got lime, sometimes they've got lemon, raspberry. You can get swirls of those. It's a really fun place, and it really just feels tropical here, of course. So what better snack than a classic Dole Whip? I decided to go with a lemon lime swirl cup. I love the lemon flavor, which I've gotten at Storybook Treats in the Magic Kingdom in the Rapunzel cone. And they also have a lime cone here that's themed after Tefite from Moana. And I know you're thinking, Molly, but pineapple's the classic. Don't worry, guys. I'm sure you'll see pineapple somewhere else on this list. Wink. Let's try it. Hmm. Oh, it tastes like the best sherbet there's ever been lemon lime not super super sweet like the pineapple it's got that kind of sour tang so if you want something a little tart and not sweet well it's still sweet but not as sweet I recommend getting the lemon or the lime or this really fun swirl that um, it's not even on the menu you gotta know to ask for it but now you do E is for egg rolls, which is why I am in Adventureland in the Magic Kingdom where you can get really awesome flavored egg rolls. And I'm talking the cheeseburger flavor, a Cuban flavor. Sometimes they have a Philly cheesesteak, a buffalo chicken. They change out the seasonal one every couple months or so. And then they also always have the cheeseburger. You can get an order of two and you can get one of each or you can get two of the same one. But they're $7.50 and a really awesome little snack here in the Magic Kingdom. I'm gonna dive in here and I forgot which one is which based on what the cash owner told me, so it's a surprise. Mm. That's the cheeseburger one. Tastes kind of like a Big Mac because you can taste the pickles, ground beef, cheese, delicious. If you like cheeseburgers, you will like this. If you like egg rolls, you will like this. If you don't like cheeseburgers or egg rolls, you will not like this. But the pickle flavor really comes through and it really does taste like a cheeseburger in a really fun, crunchy wrapper. One thing to note about these, they do run out sometimes. So if this is something you wanna eat, grab it earlier in the day because usually by the evening the cart is closed because they ran out. Um, by process of elimination, this is the Cuban one. Definitely take the pork and the Swiss. Really good. My personal nod would go to the cheeseburger because I love a good cheeseburger, but Cuban's really fun as well. Definitely come by to the Adventureland uh, egg roll cart and see what flavors here when you're on. F is for fish and chips. Oh. F is for fish and chips, which means we are in the UK pavilion of Epcot, of course with some delicious fish and chips. So this comes from the Yorkshire Fish Company. It can be a quick service meal. And if you're an adult, that means you can get a nice cold British brew with your fish and chips, which sounds pretty delicious to me. But they come with two strips of fish and a bunch of nice thick cut fries. Looks crispy and golden. And I have put an obscene amount of malt vinegar on them. So let's dig in. That's good. It's not too fishy. I'm not a huge fan of fishy fish, which sounds ridiculous, but you know what I mean. Uh, it's a nice light white fish. I'm guessing it's cod. It's fried, but it's not like, I mean, it's greasy, but it's not obnoxious. It's really good. Good snack on your way through World Showcase or would be a really fun dinner. 
I think just about anyone would like this, kids included, because it's, it's not a crazy, crazy flavor. It's pretty mild, and unless you have a seafood allergy, I think you'll really enjoy this. We are on the letter G, and that is G for grilled tenders. I'm at Disney Springs, and I'm headed to Chicken Guy, which is Guy Fieri's fast, casual chicken tender establishment. You can get the tenders grilled like we're gonna get and be a little healthier, or you can get them fried, but let's be honest, the reason you get anything is to dip it in sauces, and that's what this place is known for. There are tons and tons of unique, awesome, different dipping sauces, so let's go get our tenders. So I went for the three grilled tendies, which seems like a perfect snack. Look how yummy these look. These so are like just nice grilled, slightly seasoned pieces of chicken. And then for my sauces, you get two sauces or you can purchase extra ones. I went for the signature sauce and the hot Nashville, Nashville hot honey. I'm pretty jazzed to jump into these. How good is this chicken? Mmm, so good. That's the answer. Slightly seasoned, because of course they want you to put it on the sauce, but I wanted to try it without any sauce. It's moist, but like a little dry, kind of. Mostly moist, though. I like that it's served on a stick, and three tenders for a very low reasonable price is a really good snack or a light meal. There's the signature. There's the Nashville hot honey. We're gonna go with that one first. Get in there, chicken. Nashville hot honey. Ooh, that does have a kick. If you don't like spicy food, do not order the Nashville hot honey, but it really has that honey taste that balances out the spice. And as a fan of spicy food, I am very into that. Now I will try the signature mayonnaise based, obviously. Ooh, that's nice. Garlic, onion. That's really fun. It's like a, a really good ranch with a bunch of seasonings. As long as you like aiolis and garlic, you'll like that. And you can tell why that's a signature. So I definitely recommend trying the signature for everyone because one, it's the signature sauce, so it's always good to do that. And two, it's like a little unusual, but not out of the ordinary. I preferred the hot honey though, but I love spicy stuff. So there's like 20 something different sauces for you to try. So come in, try multiple and let me know which one's your favorite. Also wanted to say, I'm really enjoying the grilled tenders because one, they're healthier, which I mean, after all the sugar and everything you eat here, it's nice to have something not fried for a second. So the fried ones are good, but the grilled ones really let you taste the sauces, which as I've already pointed out, that is the reason I'm here, to eat a bunch of dipping sauces. Cool thing too about Chicken Guy is just recently they debuted a rewards program called the Sauce Squad and you can register a card that they give you. Eventually they'll have an app right now. You do it online and you get free stuff. You get free sauces if you want in addition to the two that come with your meal. You can get, they're going to have discounts on merchandise and other discounts. They asked for my birthday when I registered so I assume I'm getting free chicken on my birthday. So when you come to uh, Guy Fieri's Chicken Guy, make sure you join the Sauce Squad. And actually you can get a digital card online right now so you don't even have to be here. You can get those free sauces ready to go for your visit to Disney Springs. H is for hot latte, which I realize is kind of a stretch, but this is one of my favorite things in Walt Disney World and I had to sneak it onto this list somehow. Hot lattes that come from certain Joffrey's locations like Contempo Grounds here at the Contemporary, uh, the Mara and Animal Kingdom Lodge, Joffrey's at Disney Springs. You can actually get latte art on them, but you can get some of your favorite characters etched in cinnamon or nutmeg on the top of your latte. I've got Mickey, they've got Minnie, Goofy Donald here. They've got Simba over at the Mara and Animal Kingdom right now. So it's a really fun way to uh, add a little magic to your morning coffee. He's delicious, of course. You can add this to any of the hot beverages that have foam on them. So you can do a vanilla latte like I did. You can do an Americano, whatever warm beverage you normally get in the morning. For 50 cents, add a little magic to it. I is for ice cream. And when you're at a Disney park, is there a better ice cream treat than a Mickey Premium ice cream bar? I certainly don't think so. This classic Mickey-shaped treat is vanilla ice cream with chocolate on the outside, and it is just oh so good. Mm. 
It's also oh so messy, so make sure to get a lot of napkins with this one. Melts quickly. You can get this bad boy at most carts around the Disney parks, as well as a lot of the resorts have them in their food court coolers as well. Excuse me while I make as much mess as a toddler. For Jay, I'm bringing you one of my favorites from La Cava del Tequila in the Mexico Pavilion of Epcot. This is inside the pyramid, and it's a great spot to get a couple light bites, as well as authentic margaritas. They've got a big list of tequila and mezcal. They also have grasshoppers, which you can see me eat in the Weirdest Things video, which we will link for you. But today, I wanted to bring you an insect-free, yet still a little bit different option for letter J, meat the jalapeno margarita. So this has got tequila, of course, it's got cucumbers, fresh lime juice, and jalapenos. So it's a little bit different than your classic lime margarita. Cheers. That is very refreshing because of the cucumber and the lime juice. And the jalapeno doesn't make it too spicy, but it definitely adds a little kick that you don't get in a normal margarita. That is so, so fabulous. Nice and, nice and fresh and light. Um, if you're into spicy stuff, definitely try it. If you're not into spicy stuff, it's not overwhelmingly spicy, so I think you'd still be okay. But if you're a margarita drinker, step outside the box a little bit and grab a jalapeno margarita from La Cava del Tequila. Every time I go to the Mexico Pavilion, especially after I've had a margarita, I have to strongly resist the urge to buy this Dante plush from the movie Coco, because I'm obsessed with that movie and he's so colorful and cute. And I've done a good job resisting so far, because why do I need this? I just do. I am here in the Germany Pavilion of Epcot for the letter K, brought to you by the Caramel Kuchen, I'm sorry to anyone that speaks German. The Caramel Kitchen is a delicious little shop where they sell treats covered in what else? Caramel. Werther's Caramel started in Germany, so they have a full shop dedicated to all different treats. They've got caramel apples, they've got caramel squares, they've got caramel chocolates, candies, anything you can think of, but they're best known for their caramel corn. They told me that they sell about 750 or more bags a day, and on New Year's Eve, they sold over 2,000. So this little guy will set you back $6.99, but they do take discounts there because it's considered a merchandise location. So annual pass, DVC cast member, you can use your discount there. Let's get into this caramel corn, shall we? Ooh, that is just crusted with deliciousness. Of course it's perfect. Best gosh darn caramel corn I've ever had. Ooh, look at that chunk. Mm. Super fun, shareable treat here in World Showcase. Very authentic. If you're gonna get popcorn, make it this kind. L is for La Fou's Brew, which is the frozen specialty here at Gaston's Tavern in New Fantasyland. So of course, Gaston uses antlers and all of his decorating. See it in Gaston's Tavern. The detail in there is amazing. I'll point out a few of my favorite things. But the beverage that they made just for this area is called, again, the La Fou's Brew. It's like a frozen apple juice drink with a mango uh, foam on top. It's supposed to look like a beer, but of course they don't serve beer out at Cards or anywhere in the Magic Kingdom. Only Recently, they started serving it at these sit-down restaurants. But LaFou's Brew, an iconic Disney World snack. Let's try. Mm. Ooh, that is sweet. That apple juice is sweet. The mango is tart. So I'm gonna let you in on a little pro secret. Once you take your Instagram pictures, mix it together, and it will taste amazing. Hold, please. Okay, I'm back, and I've got a perfectly mixed LaFou's brew. Mm, delicious. The sweetness of the apple juice is perfectly balanced by the tart tanginess of the mango foam. Culinary innovation right here. Love a delicious LaFou's brew and such a fun way to cool off in the Florida sun. Gaston's Tavern is also where you can get things like a couple sandwiches and they've got a ginormous cinnamon roll there that is to die for. So good place to pop in. Again, the theming is amazing and 
great place for a snack or a refreshing brew. I wonder where Gaston is. M is for mac and cheese. And if you thought I was gonna bring you a boring plain mac and cheese, guess again. There are tons of different spots to get mac and cheese all over Walt Disney World. It's a staple on a lot of the buffets and it is really good. There's amazing mac and cheese in France in Epcot, but today I'm bringing you one of our favorites and that's the loaded pulled pork mac and cheese from Eight Spoon Cafe in the Animal Kingdom. Look at that beauty. Eight Spoon Cafe is one of the kiosks in Discovery Island. It's not always open, but when it is, you can find three different macaroni and cheese varieties there. There is a classic, there is the pulled pork, and there is a shrimp with a sweet chili sauce on it. These are also considered a snack. They're about six to seven dollars, depending which one you get, but look how much food that is. Look at that quality protein, good mac and cheese, some pickles. That is a really good use of a snack credit. First of all, just look at that bite. I mean, it's got those big swirly noodles. I don't know the official name, so I call them swirlies. Got lots of good protein. Mm. That is fabulous. That meat is cooked perfectly, nice and smoky with the sweet barbecue sauce on it. The noodles are strong enough to withstand all of the meat and the cheese, nice and creamy. I want to say definitely cheddar. I can't pick up a real distinct cheese flavor, but the cheese, something too crazy, but the, the mild cheese with the sweet, tender pork. Mm. Definitely one of my favorites on the list and such a good snack credit. You could absolutely make that a meal if you're on the dining plan. So there you have it, M mac and cheese. So I'm not gonna lie guys, I ate too many snacks. So I'm gonna go on a ride, which is probably a terrible idea based on all the snacks I've eaten and I should probably get some Pepto or something. But you are gonna have to stay tuned to see me eat the rest of the alphabet. In the meantime, make sure to rate, review, subscribe to our channel, follow us on Instagram at All Ears Net. And until next time y'all, I'm Molly and it's been magical. Wanna see more of my videos? Click over here. Want to subscribe? You can do that right here. And also, ring that notification bell to make sure you get instantly notified anytime we post a new video. Thanks for following. See you real soon.